Let's deal with one of the basic circuits called clampers. A clamper is a circuit which can shift the DC level of a given AC signal without disturbing its peak to peak value. By shifting the DC level we can shift the positive and negative peaks of a signal and make it more suitable for certain applications. Let's see the types of clampers. There are basically two types of clampers namely active and passive. In active clampers we use active devices such as transistors and op amps. They can clamp a signal precisely at a given reference level. In this case we have more control over the input and output impedances of the circuit. Passive clampers employ passive components such as resistors and capacitors. Passive clampers have less control over various parameters, they are less precise and they introduce a diode voltage drop of around 0.7 volts. Passive clampers can be further classified like positive unbiased in which the negative peak will be clamped to zero. Positive biased in which the negative peak is clamped to the desired bias level. Negative unbiased in which the positive peak is held at zero and the last negative biased in which we can see the positive peak is held at the required bias level. The circuits dealt here are ideal. In practical applications there will be additional 0.7 or 0.3 volts of clamping. Let's see some of the applications of clampers. Clampers are extensively used as DC restorers. It's used in television sets to restore the synchronized signal level. In video signal, the DC level varies as per the brightness of the video signal scene. But we need to keep the synchronized signal at its peak level. There we use clamper circuits. Let's get into the simulation environment of clampers. It basically consists of a capacitor to hold charge and a diode. A switch is added here for having biased and unbiased clamping options. The potentiometer acts as the load. During the positive half cycle, the diode is forward biased and the capacitor starts charging and is held at a voltage of Vi minus V gamma where Vi is the input voltage and V gamma is the diode's forward voltage drop. During the negative half cycle, the diode doesn't conduct and the input voltage gets added to the existing capacitor voltage and hence the signal gets clamped. Thus, the capacitor acts as a power source for further cycles. This is for the unbiased condition. In biased clamping, the bias voltage also gets added along with the input depending on the polarity. Let's check the output on the CRO. The charging and discharging curves of the capacitor can also be seen in the output. Similar output can be seen with biased clamping where the output is held at the biased level plus the diode voltage. To change it to biased mode, just change the switch position.